Well, 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 here we are, you guys. How are you doing? My name is Eddie Grimm, the Rock DJ, and welcome to Alpha Wolf Radio Rocks on YouTube. I hope you're having an awesome day or night, depending on what time you're listening to this. For those of you who do not know what an Eddie Grimm is, let me just explain. Eddie Grimm is a Kenyan rock DJ who is passionate about the Kenyan rock scene. I do this for the fans because the fans are super dope, amazing. And Alpha Wolf Radio is a online platform that I started after XFM shut down. Um, there's Alpha Wolf Radio on Mixcloud. You, you, when, on, on Mixcloud, you can listen to um, mixes and playlists and countdowns, mostly the music part. And then uh, Alpha Wolf Radio on YouTube is mainly for podcasts. All right, so, so I'm going to leave a link below for those who want to listen to Alpha Wolf Radio on Mixcloud. And I'm also going to leave my, my WhatsApp number down below in the description section so that if you want to join our WhatsApp group, yes, kuna WhatsApp group for Alpha Wolf Radio Rocks if you want to join so that you're notified of rock events and that kind of stuff, you know, just to stay up to date, you can just WhatsApp me and I'll add you. Sawa sawa. All right then. Now, um, for today's podcast, it's uh, going to be a bit sad because uh, I had to make this podcast because, because we, we on, I think it was on August 29th, August 29th, I'm a 30th, we lost a very important member of the Kenyan rock scene who uh, most people aren't really familiar with him because he was not really you know he's not a a musician or you know someone who was very social in fact he was not a a die hard rocket but he was part of the rock community because he used to take photographs for the Kenyan rock events when there were especially when there were bands I met him, I met him last year in November, his name is Alan, yeah, so I met him through uh, 20 more days, for those of you who know the Kenyan rock band, 20 more days, and uh, (laughs) the thing was, I remember, I remember, let me just, let me just give you a small background about him, because I know many of you are not familiar with him, so his name is Alan, if you, if you want to see his works, he calls himself Pixel Peddler, yeah, Pixel Peddler, P-I-X-E-L-P-E-D-L-A-R. I I think I I got that right. Yeah, so Pixel Peddler, uh, if you want to see his works, and um, he's on Instagram, and he's on Instagram and also Facebook. So I met Alan in November. Actually, it was not until like, you know, the kind of meet where you're told that Alan, Eddie Grimm, Eddie Grimm, Alan, uh, I just met him like he was taking photographs for a show. That was happening at Crooked Q Westlands. It was me playing, 20 more days playing, and uh, this Kenyan rock band called Straight Line Connection. So um, I remember the first time I interacted with Alan, I was like, Aki Alan, Yani, you have taken photos of everyone. <laughs> I told twenty, I told the lead singer of 20 more days, and you have taken photos of everyone except me. So he had forgotten to take a photo of me, the DJ of the show. He only took pictures of the bands. And so um, it wasn't that he, in criticism, I was just telling him next time, make sure that you get photos of me because I'm just as important in the event. And then he told us, oh, this was the first time I was playing in a rock event. I've never played in a rock concert. Uh, sorry, this is the first time I'm taking photos in a rock event. This is the first time I'm playing. I'm taking photos in a rock concert. So I'm not used to this kind of crowd and, you know, this kind of environment. But in due time and Tazoya. So for, for, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure most of you don't know Alan, but I'm telling you, Alan was a really nice guy. For those of you who met him, yeah, Alan was a really cool guy. He was very social. And I remember there's this one time he told me, at the end, see you buy me a beer. And then I was like, dude, are you drinking on the job? And uh, he was like, nope. Uh, okay, yes, I'm drinking on the job, but... The, <laughs> there are times when I take when I take a few uh, my my uh, my photographic shots of pictures tend to be really good, and you know the you know the funny thing is it's like I think he was right. It's like when he took photos <laughs> under the influence, he took some really sick photos. Like 
Alan was, uh, what saddens me the most about Alan passing is that he was a very talented photographer. He had such amazing photos. So for those of you who don't know him, I'm sure you're wondering what happened to Alan? What happened to him? Um, you know, life, life is a funny thing. Eh? One minute you're talking to someone and then the next week, boom, he's gone and you're hearing that he has passed away. So uh, there was an event that happened in August 17th. It was the Straight Line Connection album launch. Yeah, it was the Straight Line Connection album launch. I will leave a link somewhere here, upper, somewhere here on the video. It should pop up somewhere in the top right of uh, a clip, a clip of that event if you haven't seen the video yet. Um, yeah, there was this album launch for the Kenyan rock band Straight Line Connection and Alan was taking photos. So I remember at that time, <clears throat> I remember that time Alan had just lost his son and uh, it was a newborn, a newborn child. So I was, you know, I was talking to him and comforting him and um, most of the Kenyan rock uh, members who were there were also talking to him and trying to calm him down. And, you know, he was going through a lot at the time. And uh, one thing I liked about Alan is he said, that he admired the Kenyan rock scene because uh, even though we weren't at a, like, you know, like a dominant uh, scene in Kenya, we were like a family and we stuck together. And he really liked our unity. And he told us that most of us, the Kenyan rock fraternity, Kenyan rock members, we, we comforted him more than the people who were even at his church. Yeah, that's what he told us. Like he found... He found more comfort during a tough time here in the Kenyan rock scene than Uko Inje. Yeah, and, and um, uh, apart from him being a friend and a photographer for the Kenyan rock scene, he was, I remember there was a time he was telling me that he, 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 he there was, there was some kind of, um, there was like some kind, Kulukona Sonko Flani Mahali, there was some sponsor guy. And he had, he wanted to fund projects here in Kenya. And um, Alan signed up for, for that. I, th I don't know, I don't know if he called it a bond or it was some money that sa like um, a certain sponsor out there was willing to give out to invest in mine uh, projects that were, that were happening in Kenya. So Alan, you can you imagine Alan, Alan who was not even a, a rocket, Alan was in, was mainly into hip hop. Yeah, Alan, who was not even a rockhead, had approached this guy and had tried to pitch to him that he should try and invest in the Kenyan rock scene because uh, even though they are not at a very huge scene, they are very active and, you know, they have a lot of promise. Yeah, it's sad that I never got to follow up the story with him because I would have really liked to know where that went. So, so, uh, so I was, I was going towards what happened to Alan. So... I saw Alan on August on August 17th during that album launch, yeah, Street Line Connection. And then, uh, wow, after that, he was supposed to have photos for the event. So I was trying to follow it up with Straight Line Connection. The lead singer is called Gun. Gun. Bunduki. Yes, Bunduki. Uh, Gun. So I was trying to follow up uh, our photos with Straight Line Connection and... Gun was telling me that, oh, Alan is sick and uh, he's in hospital right now, but when he gets better, he should be able to get us our photos. And it's so sad because I saw Alan on August 17th and by 29th, I'm at 30th. He had already been pronounced dead because he, he had been for 12 days, for 12 straight days, he had been struggling with, was it struggling? I'm a, I'm a, he was fighting for his life because he had become sick with meningitis. So um, I think if you Google meningitis, it is where this bacteria that attacks the brain, I, I believe so, yeah. So he passed away after 12 days of uh, fighting the disease. And uh, it just took me by shock really, because, you know, one minute he was there, like last week, and the next week he was not there anymore. So, um, 
it's uh, it's quite a, a quite a sad thing for the Kenyan rock scene because you know he was a great photographer and he was also a great friend and he was also very supportive of what we do here in the Kenyan rock scene and uh, I just want to say that um if you are interested in I don't know maybe donating uh, maybe reaching out to the members of Alan maybe to comfort them or even uh, donate anything I will leave a code there is a code there's a code that I will leave in the description section it's for Alan's whatsapp group there's there's, there's a whatsapp group that was formed by his friends and relatives for uh, you know just to come together to say goodbye to Alan and uh, I believe you can you can be able to donate if you feel like donating sour if you feel like just checking up on that family to to say you know to comfort them and especially you know alan's wife right now she has lost two of her boys that is alan and uh, their son so if you feel like reaching out to them i will leave that code below or you can also i think you can also just reach out to his instagram accounts and inbox them they should respond because they had posted about Alan's death on his social media. Other than that, I just want to say that I had to do this podcast because Alan was such a great guy and he was so I, I, I felt very bad that you know such a great talent had been lost in the Kenyan rock scene. Other than that, just to help you know how awesome Alan was, here are some photos of Alan's work. And since I had not mentioned earlier, Alan passed at the age of 26. He was, you know, he went, he, he was gone too soon. And, um, you know, uh, what can I do? What can I say? All I can say is that may he rest in peace and uh, he will always live in our hearts even though he is physically gone. Because, A, as in, 
you know he had he he was so talented and he was such a cool guy um other than that i did not want this podcast to be long it was just to say goodbye to alan and just you know put out put his you know the memory of him as a person and as a friend and as a brother out there into the world i have more podcasts on the way and uh if you want to stay updated on what's happening on the kenyan rock scene if you want to know about events you know i have a lot of stuff coming up i even have interviews with members of the kenyan rock scene coming up so do please remember to subscribe please remember to when you subscribe there is usually a bell eh? there's really a bell icon next to the subscribe button so remember to hit that it will allow youtube to send you a notification when i upload a post all right okay i hope uh, this podcast has not you know put your moods down um it was just i just had to make sure that we tell a friend of ours goodbye all right and uh till next time i hope you have a great day or night and uh god bless uh we'll talk again soon cheers <music>